We've got a problem, and a big one. You're in a courtroom watching somebody be accused of shoplifting, and then they play you some video evidence. Please, I really need this for Sora inference. This video is too good. This video shows Sam Altman shoplifting, and I would like you to pick out three things from this video that show you that it is AI generated. Because personally, I couldn't. It looks so realistic. But we're at a turning point because OpenAI, they've come out with Sora, the new social network meant to rival TikTok. Essentially, it's TikTok, but 100% AI generated and it looks crazy. Whether the app hangs around and becomes an actual social network is yet to be defined. But the one thing that is for sure, this is gonna change the game. And they know it. The people behind Sora, they've put so much time and effort into making it secure. But there was a way around this to stop you from sharing these videos with everybody, especially without consent. So we're gonna look at them and I'm gonna break them down. But first, I need to show you the app because you need to understand how it works in order to understand what they've done to stop you from just making any video about anybody. Well, I've already hit my first hurdle. So what I was gonna do is take my phone and share it with my Mac so that you could see the screen on my Mac and we could go through it and we could look at the parts of the app. But that doesn't even work. Look at this. So if I open up the Sora application, and as soon as you try and play any content, the content's playing, you can hear it, but you cannot see it. So they are already implementing DRM protection on all videos. Anything that you create, you can't see. Let me try and show you a bit about the app this way. So this is your sort of profile. You give it a username and a name. Cameo, so this is what you're in. So you can edit your Cameo. So if this downloads, this is the video that I took. I can retake one now, let's do that. So if I retake one, you can see, if I click start recording, I have to say some numbers. So 45, 89, 77. I turn my head that way, and I turn my head that way. And like that, it's taken all it needs. And once that's uploaded, that's what OpenAI use to generate your likeness in a video. And let's get into that. So now I continue, that's all done, it's all uploaded. And then I can choose how I wanna share my likeness. So as you can see here, I've got it selected to only me. That means I'm the only person who can make a video with me in it, but I can say people I approve, mutual or everybody. And I can set pronouns, so I can say I'm he. And you can provide custom instructions. These are custom tips on how to generate you as a person. But cleverly enough, people can use that. So in order to generate somebody, you click the plus button at the bottom. And then to include who you want, you click on them here. You can say like me, so I've clicked at Thomas Dio. You're just adding somebody like normal. So let's do me and Sam Altman and say, let's say I just seen me, Sam Altman, I just seen. Um, what are we doing? We are going to an Apple event. So as you can see, I've said we're going to an Apple event together. And if I click send, it sends it off and it starts generating. This gets put in your draft. Here you go. But here are some of the things I made earlier. So this is me running to finish a marathon. <laughs> I thought realistically it's pretty good. It's obvious it's AI. This one is not quite as good as some of the better ones I've seen, but it's relatively okay. The only downside is it doesn't generate it quickly. It takes a long time to generate. So this is probably going to take about five to 10 minutes. So you can kind of leave the app or whatever, but we're now going to look at some of the protections. You've seen protection number one that you can't screen record. So literally I see a blank screen when I'm recording. But as soon as I stop that recording, the content comes back. It's crazy. So how have they stopped you from accessing the content? We've already seen a few of the ways that they're stopping you from generating other people's likeness. Like I cannot generate anybody who doesn't share their cameo with me. So I can't just generate random people. It is a bit better at generating random people if they're like public figures. So like Mr. Beast, it could probably do him great. It does Sam Altman great because there's loads of videos and he's sharing his likeness publicly. You've seen the fact that I can't screen record and I can't show you what's happening in a screen recording. As soon as I stop that though, the video is back, which is interesting. Then there is another way. As you can see here, I've got some videos that I created earlier. So let's compare some of the options I've got for these two videos. So this one here just includes me, of course it's blank. But up here in the three dots, you can download the video. This downloads it to my photo library. I can then do whatever I like with it, right? This video of me and I, Justine. Well, if I click on the three dots, nothing. 
there is no option to download this video. If you have included somebody else in your video, you have no option to download it. I don't know if they do either. That's an interesting move from OpenAI. They are trying to actively block the ability to download videos. And they've gone one step further. So of course, if you go back here and you've got a public video, you can share a link. You can get a shareable link to Sensibly. Because of course, somebody else is going to want to see your video. We'll get on to how that actually defeats a lot of what they've done in a minute. But the next thing that they've done, they've blocked network access. So what is SSL pinning? So say I've got my phone here and say this is the network packet. So this is the video coming on the internet, coming to your phone. This is a terrible demonstration, but that comes this way onto your phone. Well, you can pretend to be in the middle and I can take this video. I can make a copy that I can save, that I can see, and still send it to the application. That's called a man in the middle attack. And well, SSL pinning, it's designed to stop that. You verify that the server that you got the data from is where you're expecting it to come from. Let me show you this in real life. So I've got proxy man running here. I've just cleared it all out so you can see there's no request. And if I go into here and I try and reload my home page, it just says something went wrong. That means it was unable to make a secure connection with OpenAI servers. And if we come back here, you can see that Sora uh, chat GPT attempted to make some connections. But you can see here it got a 999 error, which essentially says it failed to make a handshake. So the app is verifying that it's talking to OpenAI's servers when you look at it. So that stops a man in the middle attack. But I alluded earlier that there was a way around this, and this is the way around it. If you go into the video and you click on the share link. Any video that's public has a shareable link. We're now over on the computer and as you can see I've got the Sora chat GPT shared link. So if I click on this it'll play the video. We'll just make sure it's muted. This is the video we generated earlier of me and I just did and you can probably see this. There's one way around it. If we click on inspect, if you're familiar with inspect it's like the development tools for the website and we go into network, reload the page and look for probably the largest file. You've got this assets file and we click on new tab. Oh, this is the video. Oh, and I can just click these three dots down here and download the video. I've bypassed every single one of the checks. And this gets to the heart of my point. No matter what OpenAI do, whether they block the specific creation of cartoon characters like they've done now, they change how you can export it from the app, or they develop some clever way to make sure you're only viewing it in the app and they remove the web access. There is always going to be a way around it. And there's never going to be a 100% sure way to verify that video is not AI. So the next time you're watching a video, whether it looks 100% real or 100% fake, you're going to have to go, is this AI? This is my take on the Sora application. It's not available in the UK yet, as far as I know. It's crazy. It's going to be an absolute revolution. See you in the next one. Goodbye.